Greetings fanboys, this is Brandon and I have something really interesting for you today. This is a lost episode of Fanboys Forever. Uh, back in the summer of 2012 we shot all kinds of crazy reviews. We were shooting 10 reviews a week and we were only editing maybe two or three, at most four reviews a week. So uh, we have a lot of footage still laying on the cutting room floor and uh, we had thought, eh, you know, we don't necessarily have to use that or it's something people don't need to see. Uh, long story short, we've decided it would be a shame to let all that footage go to waste. So, even though these aren't contemporary toys and it's not going to give you a look at something brand new and in some cases these aren't even items that are on the shelf anymore, we just think it's something you get a big kick out of and maybe if there's an older item that you're thinking about going back and picking up, this might uh, sway your opinion one way or the other. So, oh, please enjoy this very special, never-before-seen Lost episode of Fanboys Forever. So guys, you have chosen to view the Dark Knight Rises Stealth Vision Batman figure from Mattel's 3 and 3 quarters Dark Knight Rises movie line. And I don't know about you guys, but this is a, a variant that appealed to me the very most. Um, he's got this kind of classical color scheme that's a lot like the comic books. Mm -hmm. Got the blue and the gray, and Mattel has done this for Batman Begins and the Dark Knight Collection's 5-inch figures. They'll do a variant where they recolor the... Uh, the new suits in a more traditional color scheme. And I've always really appreciated that. And it's just a little nod to collectors, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Stealth Vision Batman. I'm not exactly sure what's so Stealth Vision about this figure. Yeah, he seems kind of gaudy. I don't know if he could stealth around anywhere. Um, it's worth noting that there is another figure called Stealth Vision Batman in the line. And it's called Stealth Vision twice. Once in the Bane 2-pack it comes with, and once in the Target 5-pack. Coming soon from Mattel, the Dark Knight Rises Final Assault Bane. I'm wearing green for no good reason! Blah, 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 blah. And Stealth Strike Batman. Stealth Attack Batman. Stealth ba -ba Batman. Let's fight. I don't like you and I'm evil. Uh, and I'm the good guy. See, I'm wearing blue and silver, so I'm good. They're fighting for no reason. It's Batman versus Bane! Dark Knight Rises. With the power of Dark Knight Rises action figures from Mattel, you are Batman. Uh, but yes, yeah, 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 the figure. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess we should review it. Shouldn't uh, we? Let me see. Uh, the sculpt uh, is uh, very solid for a three and three quarters figure. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that this is the uh, five inch figure, just uh, retro yeah. down a little bit. Yes, uh, seems like a scaled down version of the old five inch Dark Knight figure. So there's a really good amount of detail uh, in the suit. Um, it's a uh, an okay likeness, I guess. There's not much likeness to it, but he's got Christian Bale's chin at least, and uh, that's good. For paint application, this is one of the great strengths of this figure, and why you should probably buy this version above all the others. Uh, as we can see, we have some really nice paint detail for this line anyway, because uh, usually we don't get that. Uh, we have the silver here on the abs, and we go to a solid blue up here, blue on the sides, and blue on the back. Blue cowl, even a blue fabric cape. Had a little bit of schmutz on it there. And that's about all there is to the paint, except for the arms, where there is some silver in there in the middle, and blue on the outside. So a uh, really nice, satisfying looking paint, and a really great tribute to the comic book Batman. Articulation's really limited. There's only a few points. Uh, there's cuts at the shoulders, a cut at the neck, joints at the hips, and at the knees. And that's all you get. So not a lot of poses you can do, but he can leap. Uh, and he can punch, and he can turn his head from side to side, and that's all you really need, isn't it, folks? Right? Am, am I right here? No, I'm wrong. That's I, terrible. I think that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, let's talk about accessories. Here we have this uh, cheapo little rubbery battering that's black. It's still pretty nice, and I think kids will get a big kick out of it because it's pretty much the right size for a kid to kind of throw around like a mini battering, so yeah. it's pretty neat. It'll go uh, he pretty can well with your well. Movie Masters figures, actually. Yeah. And uh, he comes with this uh, gauntlet blade thing, and I think it would be absolutely vicious if Batman used something like yes. this in the film. He's films. not the Predator, folks. He'd Although, be tearing people's faces off with He's this fought thing. the Predator, so maybe yeah, maybe fire with fire him. there. So what is there to say about this figure? Uh, not a whole lot, you know. Uh, this is a pretty good three and three quarters uh, yeah. figure. It's got some good articulation. Mm -hmm. The sculpting on the outfit is actually really nice mm -hmm. and really movie accurate. There's a really good amount of detail in the sculpt, surprisingly. Um, he's well made. Mm -hmm. He's made out of really good plastic and good materials. The soft goods cape, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, there's not much here, folks. No. But what is here is really competent. Definitely. It's good. It's a decent little figure. And the thing I'll say is this is the very best Batman Dark Knight Rises variant you can get right now in the <laughs> three and three quarters line. Actually, in many ways, better than the basic Batman. Uh, so much more creative. Yeah, you know, he's got a lot of paint apps. There's so he much really more does. paint app, and there's so many more interesting things going on here. The mm -hmm. accessories are more interesting. 
So, you know, if you can, if you're going to get one Batman variant, even before I would say the basic Batman, just get this one. It's so much more fun. Mm -hmm. and, it's uh, going to be the best one for kids, too, I think. Kids are really going to love this. Very appealing. Yeah, so uh, at least two and a half out of yeah. five stars. At he's least. Right in the middle. He's, he's just fine. He's a good little figure, and you're not going to be disappointed. No. So, um, thank you, guys. Take care. See you later. I'm the Batman. I'm Batman. My name's Batman, and I'm here to say I'm fighting crime in every way. I say every way. I'm Batman. So, um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of the double naming is. Uh, probably just a naming snafu that Mattel yeah. is pretty famous for. Or, <clears throat> he is a trillionaire, so he may just have two suits called Stealth Strike. Is that Stealth Strike? Stealth Vision. Man. Stealth Vision? <laughs> <laughs> With that, let's go into the review. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want to keep that in. <laughs>